Hi, hope you are doing well. Welcome to this session. Today I am going to take up a story from NCERT's English textbook for class 10. The title of the book is First Flight, Chapter 5 and the title of the story is The Hundred Dresses. Before I begin with the story, let us discuss a few questions. How do you judge the people around you? Do you judge them by their money, wealth, possessions or their profession? I think all these things, you know, help us judge a person. Sometimes we are impressed by a person by his or her profession and sometimes maybe it's money. So these are some of the things that become the criteria. Or is there something else more than this? Is it the enduring value of a person? Now what do we understand by enduring? Enduring means long lasting. It can also mean durable. There are many synonyms for the word enduring. I will read out the synonyms for you. The synonyms are continuing, everlasting, constant, stable, steady, steadfast, unwavering, unfaltering, long running, long term and at the same time long suffering. Okay? Enduring pain, do not we say like this sometimes? But otherwise rest of the synonyms are, they are referring to a positive quality. We can use the word enduring in different contexts. The context can be enduring friendship, enduring interest in sports, enduring person, enduring greatness, enduring personality. Now the story that we are going to read today, in this story of course there are three girls in this story but Wanda is the main character I would say. So Wanda has an enduring disposition. So let us now go through the story and find out how Wanda has an enduring disposition. This story is a sensitive account of how a poor girl is judged by her classmates. Wanda Petronaski is a young Polish girl who goes to school with other American children in an American town. These other children see Wanda as different in many ways. Now can you guess how they treat her? Her name is different, maybe her dressing style is different, maybe her accent is different as we are told that she is not an American girl, she is a Polish girl and maybe that reflects in her accent. So they find her different and how they must be treating her, are they friends with her or they make fun of her. We will come to know about all these things when we go through the story. The story begins like this, Monday. Wanda Petronaski was not in her seat. But nobody, not even Peggy and Madeline, the girls who started all the fun, noticed her absence. So that sets the tone of the story. Where did Wanda sit in the class? Usually, Wanda sat in the seat next to the last seat in the last row in room 13. Room 13 was the name of the class. She sat in the corner of the room where the rough boys who did not make good marks sat. Rough boys, maybe it means naughty, yes they were naughty and there is a reference they, that they did not get good marks. The corner of the room where there was most scuffling of feet, most roars of laughter when anything funny was said and most mud and dirt on the floor. So this scene tells us that all the naughty children 
were sitting over there, they would make you know noise in the class, they were not interested in their lessons and there used to be mud on the floor. Maybe they have come from the playground straight into the classroom. Now, what kind of a girl Wanda was? What do you think? What kind of a girl Wanda was? She is sitting over there next to the boys. Is she a quiet girl or she is shy of other students? Is she a quiet girl? Let us find out. Wanda did not sit there because she was rough and noisy. No, that was not the reason. On the contrary, she was very quiet and rarely said anything at all. And nobody had ever heard her laugh out aloud. Sometimes she twisted her mouth into a crooked sort of smile, but that was all. Nobody knew exactly why Wanda sat in that seat. She was not interested in making noise. She was a quiet girl, but she sat there all by herself in the last seat. She would not talk to anybody and nobody would talk to her. Unless it was because she came all the way from Boggins Heights and her feet were usually caked with dry mud. Maybe the reason could be that she was coming all the way from Boggins Heights and on the way you know her feet would gather a lot of dust and she sat at, on the last seat of the class. Is this the reason do, do you think? Let us find out. But no one really thought much about Wanda Petronaski. Once she sat in the corner of the room, the time when they thought about Wanda was outside of school hours at noon time when they were coming back to school or in the morning early before school began when groups of two or three or even more would be talking and laughing on their way to the school yard. Then sometimes they waited for Wanda to have fun with her. Now what kind of fun? Like they were not interested in the girl. In the class, nobody would talk to her. Even these two girls wouldn't talk to her. Wanda was sitting in the corner of the room all by herself. But they would wait for her during the beginning of the session or at the end of the school to have some fun with her. Are you getting some hint? Fun with her or they wanted to make fun of her. Okay, uh, look at these two sentences, think about these two sentences and we will discuss. The next day, that was Tuesday, Wanda was not in school either. Again, she has not come to school. But nobody noticed her absence again. But on Wednesday, Peggy and Maddie, who sat down front with other children who got good marks and who didn't track in a whole lot of mud did notice that Wanda wasn't there. Now on Wednesday, they realized that Wanda has not been coming to school. Peggy was the most popular girl in school. Let us see why. She was pretty. She had many pretty clothes and her hair was curly. Maddie was her closest friend. The reason Peggy and Maddie noticed Wanda's absence was because Wanda had made them late to school. They had waited and scuffling of feet noisy, dragging movements of the feet on the ground. I waited for Wanda to have some fun with her and she just hadn't come. They often waited for Wanda Petronaski to have fun with her. You see, we have come to the end of part one, but once again in this part, we are told that they waited, who? Peggy and Maddie waited for Wanda Petronaski and they got late for the school just to have some fun with her. Fun with her? Does it sound 
little out of place, it does, okay, because they are they do not remember her otherwise. Let us discuss a few questions before we move on to the next part of the story. This particular story has been divided into three sections. We have finished the first section and here we discuss a few questions. Where in the classroom does Wanda sit and why? So, you can read the text on page 63, 64, you will find the answer. It is good, it is better that you read the story. So, let us discuss the question, where did she sit? She sat in the last row, where the rough boys used to sit, right? And why? Why did she sit over there? Because no one cared for her in the class and she was a quiet girl. It is not that she was a rough girl or she did not take interest in her studies, that is not mentioned at all. But she was all alone, therefore she would sit over there all by herself. Next question, where does Wanda live? What kind of a place do you think it is? We are told in the story that she comes from Boggins Heights. Maybe this place is far from the city. It is not the part of the main area. Therefore, she comes from far and by the time she re reaches school, her feet are dirty. And what kind of a place do you think it is? Maybe it is a place which is away from the main city. Now, next question. When and why do Peggy and Maddie notice Wanda's absence? They noticed her absence on the third day, not during the school hours, but after the school hours that she was not there. Why? Because they wanted to have some fun with her. Please notice the preposition that has been used by the writer with her. Later on we will come to know whether to have fun with her or to make fun of her. Let us continue. Fourth question, what do you think to have fun with her means? We have already discussed this, that means you know it gives us hints that you know they make fun of her. Let us begin with the second section, Wanda Petronaski. Most of the children in room 13 did not have names like that because her name was different. They had names easy to say like Thomas, Smith or Ellen. There was one boy named Bounce, Willie Bounce and people thought that was funny, but not funny in the same way that Petronaski was. So, they had not heard this surname. She was from a different country. So, therefore, she had a different name, but children being children made fun of her name. Wanda did not have any friends. She came to school alone and went home alone. She always wore a faded blue dress that did not hang right. It was clean, but it looked as though it had never been ironed properly. She did not have any friends but a lot of girls talked to her. She did not have any friends, but a lot of girls talked to her. Please underline these two lines, hmm? then we will discuss. Sometimes they surrounded her in the schoolyard as she stood watching the little girls play hopscotch on the worn hard ground. Wanda, Peggy would say in a most courteous manner as though she were talking to Miss Mason. Wanda, she would say, giving one of her friends a nudge. Tell us, how many dresses did you say you had hanging up in your closet? A hundred. Wanda would say, a hundred. And the little ones would stop playing hopscotch and listen. Yea, a hundred all lined up, said Wanda. Then her thin lips drew together in silence. What are they like? All silk, I bet, said Peggy. Yea, all silk, all colors, velvet, velvet too. 
ये वेलवेट टू अ हंड्रेड ड्रेसेस वॉन्ड्रा वुड रिपीट स्टोलिडली वट इज स्टोलिडली विदाउट चेंजिंग हर फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन ऑल लाइन अप इन माई क्लोज एट देन दे वुड लेट हर गो एंड देन बिफोर शी हैड गॉन वेरी फार दे कूडेंट स्टॉप बर्स्टिंग इन टू श्रीक्स एंड पील्स ऑफ लाफ्टर अ हंड्रेड ड्रेसिस ऑब्वियसली द ओनली ड्रेस वॉन्डा हैड वॉज द ब्लू वन शी वोर एवरी डे सो वाई डिड शी से शी हैड अ हंड्रेड वॉट अ स्टोरी हाउ मेनी शूज डिड यू से यू हैड सिक्सटी ऑल लाइन अप इन माई क्लोज एट क्राइज ऑफ एग्जेजरेटेड पोलाइटनेस ग्रीटेड दिस ऑल अ लाइक ओ नो एवरी पेयर इज डिफरेंट ऑल कलर्स ऑल लाइन अप पैगी हु हैड थॉट अप दिस गेम एंड मैडी her inseparable friend were always the last to leave finally wanda would move up the street her eyes dull and her mouth closed hitching her left shoulder every now and then in a funny way she had finishing the walk to school alone so let us analyze this part we are told that wanda is a quiet girl she would come to school all by herself and then we are told that you know she would wear one blue dress every day to school her dress was always clean but it was not ironed it was shabby and these two girls peggy and medi would make fun of her it was all started by peggy peggy would ask her how many dresses do you have wonder and wonder would say i have 100 dresses all lined up in my closet and all the girls would laugh at her because she was wearing only one dress to school and then they would ask how many shoes do you have wonder she would say 60 and then they would tell her or ask her all lined up in the closet how many hats and like that and by asking her such questions they would make fun of her but wonder's expression wouldn't change she remained quiet she did not get angry and finally when she would leave the group you know we are told that there was a dull expression on her face what does this dull expression mean that means she was not happy right she was controlling her emotions she was you know uh holding herself and telling herself not to cry so what do you think this is bullying yes i would say this is a kind of bullying and you find bullies everywhere in schools in colleges maybe in the playgrounds where you go to play they want to dominate the scene what is the dictionary meaning of bullying one who is habitually cruel insulting or threatening to others who are weaker smaller or in some way vulnerable yes wanda was weak she didn't have that kind of a support and she was vulnerable because she was not dressing up like other uh, girls was peggy bullying her yes of course we can say peggy was bullying her bullies have big egos they are confident and condescending they usually have a group of followers and may feel like they rule the school these bullies have a sense of entitlement that can stem from their popularity size upbringing or socio economic status they thrive on the physical power and control they have over their victims and may boast about their bullying now peggy had maggy as her follower and then when they are making fun of wanda the girls would gather around them they would all laugh and you know in the next section we are told that peggy 
comes from a rich family because Peggy would wear new dresses every day. And maybe Peggy was from a, a better socio-economic strata, whereas Wanda was not. This much is clear to us from her appearance, the description that is given by the narrator, by the story writer. I hope this part is clear and we have understood that who a bully is and if there is any bully around you, you have to share that with your teachers, with your parents. There are counselors in school, you can talk to them. Do not let anyone bully you. Let us begin with the next part of the story. We are told that Peggy was not really cruel, okay, good she is not cruel. She protected small children from bullies and she cried for hours if she saw an animal mistreated. If anybody had said to her, don't you think that this is a cruel way to treat Wanda? She would have been very surprised, cruel. Why did the girl say she had a hundred dresses? Anybody could tell that she was a lie. Why did she want to lie? And she wasn't just an ordinary person. Else, why did she have a name like that? Anyway, they never made her cry. As for Maddie, this business of asking Wanda every day how many dresses and how many hats, bullies those who use their strength or power to frighten weaker people incredulously showing unwillingness to believe and how many this and that she had was bothering her. You see, let's discuss this portion. We are told that Peggy is a nice girl. If anybody is hurt, she feels very bad. She is very protective about animals. But why was she bothering Wanda? Peggy says that, you know, why does she say that she has 100 dresses? She is telling a lie. Therefore, she is making fun of her. But her friend, Maddie, was very upset over this. She said, this is bullying. Why do we ask a person how many dresses, how many hats, how many this or how many that? Why should we ask? It makes no sense. So, she usually wore somebody's hand-me-down clothes. Even Maddie used to wear hand-me-down clothes. That means she used to wear the clothes of somebody. Thank goodness she didn't live up on Bokin's Heights or have a funny name. Now even Maddie used to wear dresses which were handed over to her. And Maddie was thanking her stars that she didn't live in Bokin's Heights. Otherwise, Peggy would have made fun of Maddie also. And Maddie used to feel bad when Peggy would make fun of Wanda. Sometimes when Peggy was asking Wanda those questions in that mocking, polite voice, Maddie felt embarrassed and studied the marbles in the palm of her hand, rolling them around and saying nothing herself. Not that she felt sorry for Wanda exactly. She would never have paid any attention to Wanda if Peggy hadn't invented the dressy scheme. But suppose Peggy and all the others started in on her next. She wasn't as poor as Wanda perhaps, but she was poor. Of course, she would have more sense than to say she had a hundred dresses. Still, she would not like for them to begin on her. She wished Peggy would stop teasing Wanda Petronaski. Maddie was feeling bad all the while. Maddie was scared that, you know, if she says anything to Peggy, Peggy might start making fun of Maddie also. Because Maddie was also not so rich, she was also poor and she was wearing handed down clothes and whose clothes? Peggy's clothes. We are told in the next section. She used to wear Peggy's clothes and Maddie used to feel very, very bad when Peggy was making fun of Wanda Petronaski. 
Let us discuss a few questions. In what way was Wanda different from other children? Yes, uh, Wanda was different in a way that she was a quiet child and she did not wear fancy clothes, she was simple. Did Wanda have a hundred dresses? We do not know, but she used to tell that she has hundred dresses. Why do you think she said she did? We are not told yet hundred dresses, what kind of hundred dresses, but maybe she has. Okay? Why is Maddie embarrassed by the questions Peggy asks Wanda? Because Maddie feels sad for Wanda, she does not want to hurt anybody and at the same time Maddie feels that she also does not come from a very rich background. If she says anything to Peggy, Peggy might start making fun of her. Is she also like Wanda or is she different? You see in the story, she is trying to find out the differences. She says, I do not, do not live in Boggins Heights. Hmm? I come from the main part of the city. So therefore, she feels that she is different from Wanda and at the same time, she also does not tell like Wanda that she has hundred dresses. Hmm? But if we look at their situation, maybe they are not so much different. With this we have come to the end of section 2. I want you to read the entire story and I will continue with the story in my next session where we will come to know what happens next, where is Wanda. Till then happy reading, thank you.